What's up everybody, it's Brian from the Business Reef Tank. Today I want to give you a fish spotlight. I want to talk about one of my favorite fish in the reef keeping hobby, and that is the Bellis Angelfish. You may also have heard of this called the Ornate Angelfish or Genicathus Bellis. Now if you are not a subscriber to this channel, please go ahead and do yourself a favor. Hit that subscribe button below. Hit that bell so you're notified whenever I release a new video. And thank you for watching the channel. Now you can find the Bellis Angelfish in the Western Pacific or the Indian Ocean. I believe Live Aquarius said I got mine from Indonesia. So it is a fish that is primarily at a deeper depth. This is one of the reasons why it is a moderately difficult fish to keep. A lot of times you'll have decompression issues with this type of fish, so you want to make sure you are an experienced reef keeper before getting a, a Bellis angelfish. Now one of the cool things about the Bellis is that the males look completely different from the females. It's very simple to, to tell them apart. And because of that, they are best kept in pairs. Now I have a couple of different angelfish in my tank, so I don't have a pair of Bellis, but I do have multiple fish from the group of Genicathus angelfish, which are reef safe. You don't have to worry about this fish eating any of your corals, which is another reason why I like it. I have a tank full of corals, and I've always liked angelfish, but one of the issues is that they love to eat, especially meaty corals. Now the colors of a Bellis angelfish are typically blue, white, and black. And you'll sometimes see a little yellow or orange on the fins. Now, once again, the males do look a little bit different, but it's kind of that same kind of color pattern. They just have a lot more of the yellow or orangish uh, displayed in, in, in their fins. Now, the Bellis is an omnivore. That means he not only eats plant material, but he will also eat meaty food. So in my reef, I feed my fish a combination of LRS, I feed Rod's food, I feed PE Mysis, I feed nori that I get from any kind of Asian shop. You get the, the strips or the, the long sheets of nori. I feed that to my reef. And I also feed pellets. The Bellis eats all of this with no problem whatsoever. So I purchased this fish around June 19 of 2017. He went through uh, a quarantine period where I made sure he had no kind of parasites, didn't have ick or uh, any other type of intestinal parasites or flukes. Went through copper, he went through Prazi Pro, and then an observational period as well. Another reason that I like the Bellis Angelfish is because it's not a fish that you typically see in a lot of aquariums. Had a hard time trying to find this fish locally, so that was one of the reasons why I went online to purchase this fish. It kind of makes my tank stand out a little bit, plus it is a very beautiful looking fish. Now the Bellis is a very interesting fish in my reef. I love watching it swim back and forth, back and forth, the entire length of the reef. It has a great personality. It takes food pretty easily. Overall, it's just a great fish. I definitely recommend if you have a tank that is large enough to support a Bellis or multiple Genicathus angelfish, you definitely want to check this fish out. So that's all I have on the Bellis Angelfish. If any of this information has helped you out, if you've enjoyed this video, please go ahead, give me a thumbs up, like the video, leave me a comment. Do you have any reef safe angelfish in your tank? Do you have any plans on getting a Bellis? Let me know, do you want a male? Do you want a female? Once again, happy reefing everybody. You too, take care.